Because you do know, folks, living in this country, you're bound to know that every time you're exposed to advertising, you realize once again that America's leading industry, America's most profitable business is still the manufacture, packaging, distribution, and marketing of bullshit. High quality, grade A, prime cut, pure American bullshit. And the sad part is, is that most people seem to have been indoctrinated to believe that bullshit only comes from certain places, certain sources, advertising, politics, salesmen, not true. Bullshit is everywhere. Bullshit is rampant. Parents are full of shit, teachers are full of shit, clergymen are full of shit, and law enforcement people are full of shit. This entire country, this entire country is completely full of shit and always has been, from the Declaration of Independence to the Constitution to the Star-Spangled Banner, it's still nothing more than one big steaming pile of red, white, and blue all-American bullshit. Because think of how we started. Think of that. This country was founded by a group of slave owners who told us all men are created equal. Oh yeah, all men, except for Indians and niggers and women, right? always like to use that authentic American language. This was a small group of unelected white male land-holding slave owners who also suggested their class be the only one allowed to vote. Now that is what's known as being stunningly and embarrassingly full of shit. And I think, I think Americans really show their ignorance when they say they want their politicians to be honest. What are these fucking cretins talking about? If honesty were suddenly introduced into American life, the whole system would collapse. No one would know what to do. Honesty would fuck this country up. Oh, holy fuck, man, I swear. It's everywhere you go nowadays. There's no escaping it, okay? Um, HP, Best Buy, I mean, Microsoft, you name it. All you get is shit, fucking crap. And it's the American way now. America sucks. You fucking suck. You have no ideals. You have no goals. You don't want to be good. You want to be profitable. And that means ripping off the very people that earn you your income. It's disgusting. I, I, you know, it makes me want to save my money. It makes me want to quit spending my fucking money. Because they're just out there to rip you off. I've just went through three or four returns at Amazon where I ordered three products and all of them were broken. All of them. That is from VR Gamers at Amazon Marketplace. And so after ripping me off and then charging me for return shipping, then after I eviscerated them in their little, uh, you know, dealer uh, review, then they decided to contact. Well, you should have contacted us first. Hey, asshole, you shouldn't have sent me three broken fucking products. When one is broken, that's a mistake. When two is broken, something's going on. When three is broken, I'm not a fool. Give me a fucking break. Okay, you're making your 15% on restocking and your shipping fees. It's pretty clean, you know, clear. If I could make 15% on every dollar I invested, I'd start that business too. So, yeah, America is going to hell in a handbasket. There's pretty quality is not what we do anymore. From our politicians to our fucking law enforcement officers to our fucking retail dealers to our to our infrastructure to our sewers, our bridges, our roads, everything is fucking falling apart in a fucking handbasket. And all your politicians are worried about is their next goddamn vote. Their next paycheck. Getting that fucking automatic retirement. If you look into what? Congressional uh, staffers, uh, congressmen, senators, senator staffers. If you look into what they make, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. No wonder they want to be politicians, right? So, this is my uh, fucking gonna leave America real soon video. I just can't stand this bullshit anymore. It's all of it. It's disgusting. Everywhere you look, it's it's failure and, and rip-off and stealing and shitty quality and just disgusting fucking customer service no matter where you go so god it makes me want to just take all my money and stick it in a bank and fucking leave it there why should i give them shit right oh, i mean why should i buy shit from them i don't know i've, I've lived a good life I mean, i've had a, a lot a lot of happiness happiness smiling telling everybody that everything was beautiful every day if I went into my church and didn't say everything was beautiful, they'd think I was sick. And, I, and I'm not that way. I mean, I'm a, I, I, I sincerely believe in this old world that everything is beautiful. 
I mean, if I see, if I wake up in the morning and see these plants out here and they, and all those flowers that are in there and the green grass on the, on the ground, that's beautiful. And people don't realize what they have. They bitch about it. And then nowadays, I am so upset that the things we did and the things we fought for and the boys that died for it, it's all gone down the drain. Our country's gone to hell in a handbasket. We haven't got the country we had when I was raised. Not at all. Nobody will have the fun I had. Nobody will have the opportunity I had. It's just not the same. And that's not what our boys, that's not what they died for. I just, it's just, just about it. Darling, I'm so sorry. Well, I'll be all right. It just takes me time to get over it. I just, I, 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 why, why me? See, sitting here like this, see, all this going on. Let it, it just, Emily is just, just not. It's just not the same. It, that isn't what we fought for. Oh well, I should be worried about it. I guess I'm a hundred years old. They say. No, I'm not. I, I worry about it. Um, yes, I worry. That will be my fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. You, you, know, you just remember everything's beautiful, and it, and live every day to the fullest. Just just enjoy everything you possibly can.